And Palace, thank you for joining us on this Thursday. We now go to News 12 New Jersey's Alice Gaynor, who's got more on this huge corruption bust. Team coverage first, Alice. That's right. That's right. Huge is just making it sound even smaller than it is. This is being called the biggest public corruption case here in the state of New Jersey. It's also a high volume international money laundering conspiracy involving not only politicians, uh, but rabbis as well. Now, just a little while ago, we're going to show you some video. Uh, we got some of those rabbis being led into a blue bus outside of the FBI building here in Newark. Again, about 14 were loaded onto that bus. Before a first bus came, another 14 were loaded on. That included Hoboken Mayor Peter Camerano, Secaucus Mayor Dennis Elwell, Assemblyman Daniel Van Pelt. Also, we're being told Deputy Mayor of Jersey City Leona Beldini, she was arrested as well. We're outside FBI building here in Newark. Again, we're awaiting. We hear that six more people are inside the building being uh, waiting to be brought out at this time. Again, you can see FBI agents outside the building. Uh, the press is gathered here. We have another blue bus just waiting to take those people over to Newark Federal Courthouse, which is where my colleague Tony Caputo is. Uh, there's going to be a press conference scheduled later today with more information. Tony, what's going on over by you? You mentioned uh, Jersey City Deputy Mayor uh, Leona Baldini. I actually yelled out to her to see if she would have a comment for us as she was being taken back off the bus and led in to the federal courthouse here in Newark. I'm going to roll some video for you now. Uh, and, and we mentioned the rabbis earlier, Alice did, and uh, you'll see many of them coming off of this bus as well. We'll look at this video together, folks. Rabbi, there you can see believed to be the rabbis uh, from the Deal area of New Jersey and Brooklyn, New York. And as we're looking here, we're going to see some of the politicians that we've talked about, including Jersey City Deputy Mayor. Here she comes, Leona Baldini. Leona, any comment? You can hear I yelled out to her there to see if she had a comment. She actually looked up at me, and, uh, you know, it, it was interesting to, to make eye contact with a, a politician in a situation like that and oh, to know the situation time. she's in right now certainly can't be feeling good at this point, and that includes some of the other politicians we mentioned earlier, Hoboken Mayor Peter Camerano and Secaucus Mayor Dennis Elwell, who came in on a bus, oh, about 9.30 or so this morning, about an hour ago. Now, coming up here, I believe you also see Jersey City Council President uh, Mariano Vega. I believe he's going to be coming off the bus here as well in just a short time. Right here, Council President in Jersey City, Mariano Vega, also arrested today and being taken into the federal courthouse in Newark. So that's the situation here as they continue to bring them in off the bus. We're going to have more for you. Let me walk you over here to the federal courthouse. Uh, my ph photographer Ed Haddon here with me as well. We have photojournalist Joe Caruso waiting as more buses come in. Joe will grab that video for us and we'll present that to you. But I'll tell you, this is quite a day in New Jersey politics as many have been arrested in this international money laundering scheme. And as Alice mentioned, there's a news conference set for noon. We'll see if that stays put. If it changes, we'll let you know as well. But you can bet as details become available, we'll pass them along. Back to you. Yeah, definitely, Tony. More team coverage of corruption sting uh, coming we'll up throughout the day. we'll look forward to that news conference.